And the reason that's important is that the American people have no idea, really no idea, about the immensity of the threat in space. And I've made this comment in a classified setting that I wish the American people could be present in this room. Not this room, but the skiff. Because our adversaries know what they are doing. We know what they are doing. They know we know what they are doing. But the American people have no idea. And so this discussion and debate will have very little interest in the American public. It's carried on in a level of, forgive me, bureaucratic language that most Americans would have trouble seeing an immediacy in their daily lives. But if they were privy to what we hear, and you know it much better than we do, because you live it, I think they'd be pretty alarmed. Uh, and I, this is not by way of criticism of you, because you're living with the strictures of what is classified and not, but uh, I think we have a, a real obligation to explain to the American people why space is a domain that matters, why the threats there are real and urgent, why they are growing in importance. Hostage experience. Did something happen to you, Russ? Oh, yeah. Seems years back, our boy here was kidnapped by aliens, did all kind of experiments on him and such. Tell him about it, Russ. Get a couple beers in him to tell you all about it. Crazy stuff. Won't you, Russ? <laughs> Russ, when they took you up in their spaceship, did they do any you know, sexual things to you? <laughs> call, you recollect? <laughs> say that the earth shall rock to and fro like a drunkard what type of devastation is it going to take that's going to make the whole world rock back and forth the scripture said so great an earthquake as never was seen before so you have to imagine the amount of anxiety and frustration that one has and when you're able to let it loose without any interference man you better get out that person's way. 
You know, and Esau gonna try to head right to the Lord and the Lord's gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, I